Okay, we are here at the embassies. So let's go. Uh, let's take a look at the map. All right, so you can see there's the exclamation point saying that there is the Nasana. Meet with Nasana. Nothing else here, although I should go uh, check with uh, that Tana. Any more good stuff that I can buy. Whether it be. Stuff that I can buy. Whether it be weapons or armor. Oh, examine that manual there. Hello, Dina. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. Forget about the ruins! This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. Thank you, Anderson. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. Ah, uh, always the politician. Hello, Anderson. Yes, Commander. Is there anything else I can ask him? No. I do have to go see Kohoku, though. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. This is Captain Anderson, Liara. This is truly magnificent. Most Prothean architecture I see is in ruins. <laughs> That's right, Liara. This was made by the Protheans. Alright, now let's go to the lounge and meet this Nasana. Who was an Asari, I believe. To I'm me. On my way. Looks like. Wait, is one of them? Uh. Oh, Garrus. Garrus, catch up to me, man. What are you doing? He's lagging behind. He's like, maybe he like saw something. He's like, ooh, look at that. <laughs> There's a uh, Palin. <laughs> Garrus doesn't want to go see him. All right, here's Nasana. Commander Shepard. I am Nasana Dantius. Yes. I see you got my message. Are you in trouble? It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no huh. reported survivors. Oh, well, that's too bad. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. She is? The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Wait, why was she spared? Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. Okay, what's my part in this? Do you want me to deliver the ransom? <sighs> I've already transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've oh, made a terrible man. mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. <laughs> That's a stupid law. Why would they put you in jail? You're the victim here. Government representatives on the Citadel are not allowed to negotiate with terrorists. It's too dangerous. Paying a ransom would only encourage more kidnappings. I support the law in theory, but when I got the message, all I could think about was Dahlia's safety. I doubt they would actually send me to prison for what I did, but they would strip me of my post, and Dahlia would still be in the hands of the slavers. So you need my help? You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. Okay. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Why me, though? Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a specter. Besides, huh. you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. All right, tell me about the kidnappers. Anything you can tell me about the mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a specter cannot handle, though. Have you been tracking the ransom? How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts huh. and credits can go a long way. 
Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already huh. broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. I don't do this for payment. I do it because it needs to be done. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Of course, because I'm a hero. <laughs> Alright, so we have the journal entry to give us the location of which planet to go to. So we'll deal with that when we get back to the Normandy. Alright, so now... Let's see. Let's see, on the map here... You know what, let's go ahead and just walk to the Emporium. I could fast travel, but... You never know if we could end up running into some, some other side quest here. Some other conversation that Shepard would have to resolve. As now Liara is trailing. <laughs> uh, she probably got swept up in looking, admiring all the uh, Prothean architecture. You know what's funny is if I bring Rex and Garrus to that statue, they're each going to have something to say, like a, a smart remark to each other about uh, the Krogan rebellions. <laughs> oh, I think I see it in the distance. But before I deal with what I know is another side quest, or side mission, let's go ahead and talk to this Hanar. Come oh. Let me look at his standard items, see if I can... Uh, if there is another... up, oh, there is another license for me to buy. Excellent. Alright, now let's look at these armors. Bunch of human and Turian armors. And Krogan. Tons of human armor. Huh. I can do a comparison with the people I have. But uh, the three of us already have some pretty good armors. Better than what he's got. And just to be... Just to be... be thorough, oh, this... Non-human armors. <laughs> Uh, ooh, finally, there's a Quarian armor here. Well, you know what? I'm going to buy it because we have yet to come up with uh, another different... Uh, we've yet to find a Quarian armor in our, in our mission so far. Commander, show me your items. Oh, this one. Let's look at upgrades, and there's nothing for me to buy. No license or anything. All right. Let's go ahead and save, just in case. You never know if we could run into a game-crashing bug. <laughs> That's one of the unfortunate truths about this game. So you never know when the game's going to crash or freeze on you. Although it usually happens like during loading screens or something. And there's Barlavon. Up. Oh. I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. Huh. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. Wow. <laughs> let's let's try and resolve this issue, even though it's none of his business, but let's go ahead and try and resolve I it. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. <laughs> I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Is there a problem here? Can I help you with anything? <sighs> Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. Yeah, be I'm careful what you say, buddy. <laughs> my sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. Okay, well that's your story. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. Yeah, let's hear both sides. My here. husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. Aww, There's sorry. a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. Okay. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. Wow. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Wow. Oh. Okay. Let's ask, uh, what are the chances of the baby receiving this disease? What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? 
According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And one if in my 50. baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Okay. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. But what, well, what's the danger of the, of the therapy? What are the chances the gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet huh. articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Really? Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. Man. Well, I mean, I would obviously say that it's her choice, but... You know, and yeah, yeah the odds, you know, obviously 1 in 300 to 1 in 50... 1 in 50... I guess that would make sense for him, but the part that caught me was she said there's a factor that there could be long-term complications that no one knows about. And that's a big uh, red herring in this. So, you know, I would t I would tell him, let her make her make her choice. It's her baby, and she wants to uh, risk it uh, that, uh, you know, don't, doesn't want to risk the long-term complications. And that's w that would be the big factor for me here. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. Uh, and but you know what? You are too. Yeah, she lost her husband, but you lost your brother. So, and it's still her choice. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Yeah. Of course it is. I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then act like it. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. Man. It's all I this have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We Man, will. You can, he you can hear that both of these two I are hurting. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. May I take a moment to say, I love the voice acting in this game. You could just hear the the pain and the emotion in their in both of their voices. Kudos, amazing credit to the voice actors in this game for all the characters, every voice actor, all of them doing an amazing superior job in this game. I mean, you could just... Wow, I got into that. I got sad because of that, hearing them talk about how much they, mi they miss uh, Jacob. Huh. <laughs> Man.